Right, good morning everyone. Now, um, I've got this flower that I've just done, which I'm going to share with you how to do it in another video, but I'm just sharing that with you now. Um, and it's made from the... Let me get that. From this. Quite easy to do. Well, when I say quite easy, it can be a bit tricky if you don't get it right. <laughs> but uh, that's what we're going to be doing shortly. Now, I did say I was going to come back to part two and share with you how I made my little clusters. These little clusters. Now, I know most of you say, oh, it's not hard, you just thread a few beads. That's fine for those that know how to do it, but for a new bead, they don't. And to be able to buy those, you know, they do cost a pretty penny. Uh, and so I'm going to be showing people how to do it. So this is for another beginner's video. You're going to need a fine needle, a beading needle. Some thread. Now I use cotton, I just it's like a polyester cotton. Some seam binding, so I just use strips like that. You cut them to about an inch and a half. A selection of beads, which, let me just pop my bits there, because that's what we're going to be doing. Um, get my bigger beads out of here. So I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. And there's another one. They're really pretty. They fit under your flower or on a canvas or something like that and dead easy to do. So, now I need, um, right, I'm going to use this one, I think. Let me just put my scissors there. I've got some crystals if I need them. And small beads. Like a seed bead and um, small pearls. So I've got those there. So I'm just going to spread these out. So these are what I use. Um, you can get oval ones, different coloured beads, different shaped beads, teardrops. So I think, first of all, what I'm going to be doing is the this one, because I want some uh, chunky danglers. And then, if I can find three the same, one, two, three, I'll do the teardrop ones. Now they are easy-ish. Like I say, this is for beginners. Just thread your needle. Make sure you have plenty on. I'll do about a yard. Because <laughs> you need quite a bit of thread. Now, I can't see for toffee. My needle's bent as hell because I use it a lot. I can't see the eye. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm like sodger, do it the old-fashioned way. There you go, see? The old ways do work. So, I'm going to double that thread. There's one way you can stop your thread. You know when you're sewing and that, and it gets caught up and tangled and all this, that and the other? Well, one way to do it is to put it through a wax. Now, I bought this. Oh, a long time ago. Um, I have a long time ago. I can't remember when. And it is just a piece of wax in there, in a container. And then what you do is you just move your thread through it. I just do that. And it's sometimes, uh, most, or it's supposed to, it's supposed to uh, put the wax on your thread and then it stops it from tangling. So we're going to test it again because I've not used it for a while. Right, seed bead first. Now, I'm just going to get a load of seed beads out because we need quite a few of these. Pop on your seed bead first. You have to make sure that your needle, obviously, fits through the seed beads. Now, this is where I can't see again, like I say. 
open the bottom section and then pull that down so your seed bead is on the bottom now because you have sometimes little tails just clip them off like that okay then like I say I'm going to go for the larger one um hang on a minute let me just see now I'm going to go for this one first the smaller bead which is a three millimeter bead uh, then I'm going to go for another seed bead then the larger bead now just let me sorry I want to get oops caught it I want to get some bead caps let me just see here we are because you can fancy these up as much as possible I mean as much as you want so I've got some really pretty bead caps here come on mate get out oh there we go yeah so I'm just gonna pop the bead cap on first then pop the bead the large bead it's got caught up there I'll sit that in there bead cap again seed bead I'm going to do the crystal let's move those out of the way now let's have a look that's too small there we go we've three there So again, I'll pop that on. Seed bead. Well, some of these do look small, these seed beads. Um, and then what I'm going to do is an oval, smaller oval. See if I've got a small one here. Got some roundels. There we go, small roundel. Another of the oval small roundel um, and a smaller bead let's just see what we've got here oh that's isn't that pretty so what we've done uh, started with a seed bead Moved on to a, a three millimeter bead, bead uh, a seed bead, bead cap, large bead, bead cap, seed bead, crystal seed bead, um, elongated bead, roundel, elongated bead, roundel, and a pearl, and then we're going to finish on a seed bead. Because that's as long as I want mine. Now I'm going to take my. Where did I put my little threads? There they are. Take my little piece of material, leave enough on the end, and then you're going to start and sew that on. Take it to as far as it'll go, hold it tight, and then make a stitch. Now wait a minute, because I want to make sure I get this right. pull that out so as long as you've got that covered that's it we've got that first stitch in then take it through the top of the first seed bead catch the material and that just strengthens that and then I do a couple more stitches either side of the dangle beaded dangle should I say and then do a stitch all the way up to the top because we're going to be folding this 
um, and it's going to go under a flower it doesn't matter that I'm stitching this at the top if you wanted to move on to the next one you would just do a couple more stitches tighten it off and then cut the thread off and start a fresh one but I'm going to make sure this is now secure okay and then a couple of tacking stitches in the top just to hold that and then we can trim that off so that was my first one so I'm going to lay that there because I do obviously need to copy that so again we'll go back to the beginning and we're ready to go identical as that now you do have to be careful when you're doing these I tuck that underneath my hand so it doesn't get in the way and I don't need it too far away from that so about a centimeter so you stitch it on as far as it'll go pull your thread up now well, you've got that go through the first seed bead Make sure that's tight. Stitch either side. That holds, uh, holds it really secure, that's fine. Okay, now just be careful. Keep hold of these out of the way so your thread doesn't get in the way. And then you stitch to the top. couple of stitches just to secure it off and you should have enough to do, do the next one okay here we go so let's get this going seed beat oh god here we go I've got to Hang on, I need to put another knot in that. It's not quite. Yeah, there we go, got it. Now I need to separate this. See, the warmth of my hands with the wax has sealed it together, but we can get it undone. There we go, done it. So pull the knot on the needle like that pull the bead down to the needle and then pull the needle through and it saves you having all that mess of getting it knotted up okay so small bead three millimeter seed bead now sometimes you get them that are a little bit tight so just throw them away because if they don't go through your needle I don't mess about I can't I need another gold one. I have gold and silver together. They got mixed, but I don't care. Right, uh, then we need that bead cap again. Large bead. Smart uh, bead cap. A seed bead crystal seed bead there the elongated beads oh 
roundel, elongated roundel, a small bead. And then the seed bead. Just making sure we've got that right. Yes. Okay, there we are. And you do exact same thing again, not too far away. As tight as it'll go. Don't, not too tight so it's stiff. You need these to dangle. Just keep your thread where it needs to be. One stitch there. Then go through the top of the seed bead. And those kits are selling well from yesterday. So if you do want one, go grab them. We only had 12 available. And uh, so they're doing well. Oh, sorry. Before I cut that, this is what you've got to do now. You turn that in. You wrap that around. And then what we're doing is we're going to stitch. So that's why you've got to leave enough thread on your needle. Tack and stitch at the top. And then take it down the join. And that just secures that. And that's the bit that you will add under the flower. Okay, and there you go. Now, if you wanted to do the middle one a little bit longer, which I do sometimes, I do, and you can do them any size with any bead, they're gorgeous. And they look, let me, where's the flowers I had? Let me just show you the flower. Somewhere I've got the flower, uh, here we are. So this was a flower that I did the other day and these are little dangles that we've got hanging from them and they do look pretty. And they're so easy to make. Once you get going with them, I mean, I can whip them up in no time, but for you, um, once you get going with them, you can have a selection of them. Do a, a load and stick them in a box somewhere or a glass. You know, I usually keep them in a tub. Like that. And then I've got loads to choose from. And a seed bead. See if that's done the trick. I only want it slightly longer. Yes, that's it, see? Brilliant. So that's going to go in between those two. Now you do have to be careful because they can be quite weighty. Go through the last seed bead. Remember to move them out of the way and pull your thread out. And then go either side. And then keep them out of the way. Stitch up the middle. You do get faster at these. Oops, see, I've got that caught. Be careful. Just let me turn my thread back a bit because so it's getting a bit twisted. Right, so now what we have to do is to fit this in. So you fold that in, fold that around, fold that back, and now you have to stitch it at the top to hold all of that in. Then go down the middle of it.
and then a couple of stitches and there you go and I do think they look really really pretty so if I can just clear this to show you You know, they're really easy to do and uh, you need to have fun. So, oh, where's my beading needle? I keep that in there with my little seed beads, that's what I do. It's all about having fun. Be creative and have fun. And I've always said, stick by the motto, make what you can and buy what you can't make. You save so much money. And these have cost you a pretty penny. Take care. Bye-bye for now.